today I am organizing our garage. And one of those things that I'm having issues with finding a storage space with for is bikes. I have them mounted to the rafters up above, but there's the bigger ones that I wanted to mount on the wall. And so what I've decided to try, we're gonna see if this works, is I just have a two by six board here. It's just a scrap that I have on hand. I've cut it to be the length between those. And then what I'm gonna do is, these are ones that I have on, just on hand, are these hooks. I'm gonna go to the hardware store and get bigger ones so it'll fit more tires. But the idea is, is that we'll mount this onto the wall and then on this, these will be screwed into and then the tire of the bike can hook into this. And that's why a bigger one would be nicer. And then the tire, and then the bike will just sit up against the wall. So we're gonna see how it works and test it out. But I need to go to the hardware store first. Okay, so first I need to mark where I need to screw this into these studs. So I'll just kind of position the board up against the wall. And I'm just gonna mark where it comes in contact with this. Okay, and now I'm just gonna take it off and drill some holes. I forgot to mention, I am using a 1 8 inch uh, drill bit. You just want it so it's slightly smaller than the screw point, so right here. So you can gauge that by just putting your screw up like this and squishing it. And if it's fatter, then you need to go smaller. Then the screw, if it's fatter than the screw, then you need to go smaller. But if not, then you're good because you want it to be able to grip these, this part of the screw. So now I'm using my screws. These are two and a half inch screws. They're my favorite type of head to use, which is a star head. I wouldn't recommend anything else because it's the best. So now that I've pre-drilled all my holes, what I'm gonna do is um, put in the screws until they are about through on the other end. That'll just help when I go to put it up on the wall. Okay, now that the screws are attached, I'm gonna hurry in measure the board and determine where I want to install the hooks. I'll only be using one of these guys because it's the, it only works for one of my tires. So it'll just be my test and then I'll come and drill the other ones in later. So this board is 50 inches long. And I want this to be pretty close to the edge as possible. That way I can get as much space as possible on this board. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make this first one at about two inches, which then would put me two inches off this side. And then I'm gonna just go in between. And I'm trying to decide how many I can actually get on this board. I'm hoping for four. I don't know if I go two feet in between each, which I think that actually sounds pretty good. And, or not two feet, a foot, sorry. Which I think that's what I'm gonna do. There's a foot in between each of them. And the ends will be slightly less than a foot by an inch. So, we're gonna move This guy. Actually, I think I'm gonna do one and a half off from the edge, changing my mind on this. So I'm doing one and a half inches from the edge, which then will allow me to get a better estimate on the feet. So this is four feet. So I'm gonna do every foot. And the first one is gonna be off by just a hair. So we'll see how that works. 
Okay, now that I've marked where I want them, I'm gonna hurry and square it up on the board. So now that I've marked where the location is, I'm just gonna mark center. And since this board is uh, five and a half inches in actual size, I'm gonna just do half of that. So that's gonna be two and a half right there. So that'll be my one mark. Huh, I guess I'm not doing this on center. Okay. Let's try that again. So we're gonna just put it at like two, two and three quarters. So now that I've marked the spot, I'm gonna drill my hole for this. And again, I'm using a drill bit that is uh, smaller than this. And I'm gonna leave it like that until I get it up on the wall. So to hang this up on the wall, I've kind of marked where I want it to be and I have some clamps with me right now just to help me hold it into place. They can be a great help. And I do need my level. And so I'm just gonna really set this up here. Make sure my actual screws are going to go in where I want them. Now, before I actually screw in these top ones, I wanna to check to make sure that my wheel's not gonna hit where the garage door opener is, so I'm gonna hurry and test that. Okay, so I went and got these guys from the store. Um, I'm gonna install them. And it looks like this guy is working. It has a little bit of a wobble, but I'm not too worried about it. It's not gonna come off and that's the key. So we're gonna finish installing the screws and then attaching these guys. Oh, and these guys say to use a 5 sixteenths of an inch drill bit to drill your hole. So got my drill. And I just realized I only bought three of those, but it looks like I have four holes. So one of them will not be put in right now. So I got my sons back on here and it's pretty tight in that the handlebars kind of hit it. But he's also a smaller bike. So these handlebars would actually poke out further. So it would work out with a bigger bike. Um, so the foot spacing I feel like was really good. If you want to get handlebars to handlebars, the two feet was perfect for that. So this is my bike storage solution for my garage.